Sorry, you all have to accept that. Sorry about it, friends. Ah, oh, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Carrie. You guys are so, so sweet. Those are nice comments. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to give everybody like one more minute because they're all coming. Everyone comes on at the same time. And okay. how's everybody Thursday? Everybody having a good one? You can put it in the chat. I mean, we're hitting our biggest holiday selling season, right? Listen, I started, here's a quick idea before we start. Um, I started doing a couple years ago, I would do like this thousand dollar day sale in November. And, you know, a lot of people are like, yeah, but then you have your pink Friday, you know, small business Saturday, all that stuff for your open houses in November. And I said, here's what I've learned. They will still buy because they're buying for themselves when I run all my specials in, you know, when I run my stuff in November for them, I just always, you know, I always try to hit my, you know, the first year was like 500 bucks, but then it escalates, you know, every year has been better for that thousand dollar day. But for whatever reason, I started doing it, sorry, October, not November. I did in October. I don't know, it was some silly, like $6,000 or something on that day. But here's what I've learned. People shop for themselves on that. And then all those same people are ready for my thing this weekend. And everyone's like, are they going to buy again? I'm like, yes, because now they have to buy for everybody else. So a little tip for y'all, if you want to maximize things for your customers. And I think everybody's worried about price increases and stuff because, you know, the world's on inflation. So everyone keeps asking. I'm like, I don't know. I don't think so. But I guess I'll let you know if something happens. <laughs> I'm like, it's crazy. Okay. Well, they I, wasn't it last February that they did that big hike? Yeah. Yeah. And I get it. I mean, the world, I mean, even other companies who did it then have done it several times since. And so I think they're all like, Jenny, do you know after the new year? I'm like, um, I don't think so, but usually we know by now, but you know, I was like, whatever, stock up if you want to. So <laughs> I'm like, do what you gotta do for you. Okay. So we're going to start ladies. Happy Thursday. Hope every, I don't know if it's cold where you all are, but it is cold and snowy here in Colorado. And I'm not here for it. I need to get somewhere warm. I need me to beach. I'm already, I mean, we're just a little bit into this winter season. I'm like, Ugh, someone better find me a beach, but you know, we can visualize that. Right. So we have my gorgeous, amazing friend, Lachelle. We got to meet on the Alaskan cruise and we just hit it off since then. And I'm telling you, she is the real deal. And I just love how authentic and genuine you are, my friend. You are fun. You will laugh so hard. If Some of you probably already know her and been in her space, but if you haven't, um, this is going to be a treat for you today. And I just want you to know, I appreciate you because really this goes apparently all over the world. I don't know where this is all going. <laughs> Everyone's like, I don't know. I posted my same groups and then people still, I might share it with anybody. So I just appreciate your go give heart and how much you love and respect this company and your business and the integrity in which you work, my friend. So I'm going to mute and let you take over, girl. Awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. I, I have to say, you guys, like, this is amazing that you do this. I mean, it, just the fact that you have all these speakers put together, we can all use the information and the training and it, how many people it goes out to. I mean, this is super go give of you and just in everything that you're doing. So it it means a ton to me that you have me on here. And I just think, man, your heart is so big, like so go give in, in every way. So thank you. And then you guys, she even sends me, she asked for my address and I think, oh, I'm going to get a, like a little card in the mail. No, it's a gift. She sent a gift to me. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> is this girl for real? So Jennifer, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're truly amazing. And Mary Kay would be smiling right now with everything that you have going on. So, Thank um, you. anyway, so, so you guys, I, I want to let, you know, you might want to grab a pen and paper and this is, this is not like a wow type of training. It's kind of a thinker. And it's one of those things that, you know, I just want to go through and really ask some deep questions. So, um, you're not going to come away from this thinking, oh my gosh, you told me something amazingly new, but we're going to, we're going to dig inside your mind and see if we can pull some things out. So a lot of times you'll hear teachers, you know, say, well, this is what I did. And you follow, you know, you pull the bits and pieces of what they did and you hope that it works for you. And it did work for them. So there's a good chance it can work for you. But I think the answer is inside of yourself of what will work for you with your business. So think of yourself as your best self for a minute. What are three words that describe that person? 
I'm just going to give you a second to think on that. What are three words that would describe you being your best self? And if you say, well, one day I'll be that person, that day may never come, right? And so you don't need to wait for that time. You simply need to ask yourself, who do I need to be to become the person I want to be? And clarity around that. So in Mary Kay and really in anything, you'll find people, I think that just, they're just like winners. Like they just naturally, I feel like they just, you know, always are high performers and they're always winning and that type of thing. And my husband has a friend that's like this. And we always joke that like, if he, like, he will literally um, win it, anything he can win it. Like it, it, it's, it's amazing. Like he'll go golf, he'll win at it. He'll go to the casino, he'll win at it. <laughs> like it's a mental thing almost. And after being around him and starting to get to know him, because um, we go up to their cabin, he ended up marrying a woman who had tremendous discipline and habits. And I started realizing that the reason he always does so well is for the fact that, oops, my dog. okay, something must be going on because my daughter's trying to call me, you guys. Can you still, can you still hear me okay? Yes, we hear you. All right, I dropped her off to get her hair done and there must be some problem. She's coming out anyway. There, we had a whole snap for you guys. So a whole hair, <laughs> the hair ended up going red. So then the hairstylist could get her back in today. It was like this whole thing. I'm like, well, this is not really where I wanted to do my training in my car, but we're going to do it. <laughs> anyway, so she might be getting in the car with me in a minute here. Um, so anyway, but the reason this person was always winning is because like he set himself up for success. And it was interesting because he has all of this discipline and that's really why he is like, you know, winning like he is. So now he's a coach and he's a professional, um, he's a professional coach of a professional hockey team in England. And he made his luck through his habits is what I'm trying to tell you about him. <laughs> anyway, but this business, you know, with this, everybody is trainable and can be successful. And I remember when I was a hot mess, like I literally had earned my car and never done a weekly accomplishment sheet. I didn't even know where they were or what they were. Um, I remember when I went to my first party, I went and opened up the starter kit at the party. Like, I, and I'm telling you this to give you hope. And the key is to, in moving forward, is to not stagnate, but to look at, okay, how can I become better, right? And that's the, the key habits in moving you forward and to move you up through the career path. So um, I'd like to share just four principles that will really help to get you clear and move you forward. So the first one, you'll laugh, but it's to be clear. <laughs> and so what would you want your fan or how would you want your family to describe you? I want you to think about that for a minute. How would you want your family to describe you? If you lose your vision of where you aspire to be and have no enthusiasm, it's most likely because you're not really clear on where you want to be. And when you're with people, are you demonstrating the qualities of who you want to be? Do you have intention about how you interact with the people that you're with and act according to that? And I encourage you to ask yourself, how can I serve with excellence? Like, what skills do I need? And the empowering part of that is that if there are certain skills that you need to be able to move to the next position, you can figure out what those skills are and then work on obtaining those through classes, training, books, whatever. You can work on it, at obtaining that. And maybe it's just that you do a self-inventory at the end of each month. So maybe asking yourselves these questions. What do I need to be doing more of? I'm sure you've heard these before, but what should I not be doing? So what do I need to be doing more of? What should I not be doing? And what am I going to keep doing? Because there's really no drifting to the top in Mary Kay. So the second principle I'd love to talk to you about is to really have 
good energy. And I can't tell you how many times I get the compliment of, Hey, you have really great energy. And I work at having that great energy because I'm very clear on the feeling that I want to have and the vibe. And, and I want to have a happiness and not an anger around me. And so there's four points that I want to just mention about that. First, release any tension. And you'll know when you have it because it welds up in you. We had it last night with the hair thing going on in our house where I was like, oh my gosh, what just happened here? How did this go wrong? And I, you can feel the tension. So everyone has it in different places, right? But you can catch it and then you can release it through things like meditation, um, going for a walk, maybe a workout, maybe get in water, get in the shower, mix it up, you know? So just working on releasing that tension so that you don't have it but really catching it when it comes in. The second thing is to set intention. And to make sure you're intentional about what you wanna accomplish in your day. So that will have you help you have good energy too because of the fact that you're moving in the, the right direction of what you want it, uh, you know, what you wanna accomplish. So release tension, set intention. Number three would be bring joy to your life. Now this, I tend to get very serious when I work. And so this is hard for me, but I watched a friend who literally like, and everything she did, she made it fun. And I thought, how does she do that? Like just everything seemed more fun around her. And so here's what um, I learned from high performance habits and through watching her is you can actually bring joy into your life in a couple different ways. So um, you can set like a little alarm in your phone that we're all on anyway, and maybe set it for three times a day and then ask yourself, am I bringing joy to the situation? So for me, like in my work that I've been doing recently, I've turned on Christmas music. Um, and maybe it's lighting a candle, you know, while you were, it's, it's bringing more joy to that situation. Um, another thing that I, I, again, I got this from high, high performance habits, a book, but is every time you walk through a door frame to a new room is finding the good in the room. Like, where can you find the good in that room? And another one that you um, can think of as like a trigger is what level of, asking yourself, like what level of presence and vibrancy that you have right now, whenever you're waiting somewhere, have you ever found like, you just get like, I I'm very impatient. So I'll get like the, I just hate waiting. Right. And so I'll, I'll look at that and go, okay, what kind of vibrance, what kind of presence do I have? Like, how can I make the situation better type thing? Um, even on a zoom, you know, it, just anything you can make it better. Okay. So number four, so those would be the three things to help bring joy, but we were talking about bringing the energy. So it's release tension, set intention, bring joy. And the last one is optimize your health. So just knowing that there's chemicals, <laughs> I, it took me a long time to learn this, but there's chemicals in us, right. And how to hack into them. And so I actually have this meme. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but I decided to print it out and bring it with me. But it has like all of these ways that you can hack into these different chemicals. So like to get the dopamine um, reward, it's completing a test, self-care activities, eating food, celebrating wins, oxytocin, the love hormone, playing with a dog, playing with a baby, holding a hand, hugging your family, giving a compliment, the endorphin one, that's the painkiller, laughter exercise, essential oils, watch a comedy, dark chocolate, I can do that, exercising, <laughs> um, serotonin, the mood stabilizer, it's meditating, running, sun exposure, walk in nature, swimming, cycling, I just love these, and it's like, then you at least, and you can always get something like this on Pinterest, but um, you know, it's, it's just knowing where you are to like help you with your feelings, right, um, and I think the biggest thing to note is that only 20% of Americans get minimum exercise. And you guys, exercise is so important. There's so much to be said about it. And sometimes I found that, you know, it's just hard to figure out where to fit it in. But my, I want to continue to feed my brain with good stuff, like listening to these Zooms or listening to a book or whatever. And so sometimes it's just putting earbuds in and taking a walk outside. And in Minnesota, where it's freezing cold already, um, you know, it's bundling up and, and getting out there and doing it. So maybe it's a, a class you take at the Y, but those are all things. Sleep, obviously, um, power nap, drinking water, all those things help get that energy up. All right. So the third principle is raise necessity. You guys, here's the thing with necessity is that you really, in order to move forward, a lot of times you need to have that, gotta have that need. And so there might be internal and external trigger, triggers with this question. Who needs you on your A game right now? So when you sit down in your office, if you ask yourself that question, who needs me on my A game right now? 
internally, you know, and also probably externally because it, it almost it helps you be more accountable. So ask yourself that question to raise that necessity. And then the last pr principle is to have good systems. And I love that book, Atomic Habits. And it says, you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. So what habits or systems are serving you right now? And what needs to be changed? Because usually it's not that you're not hitting your goal. It's that you're not changing something within the system that needs to be changed. If you truly want something, it's developing a system to get there. So for example, if you move, I'm sorry, if you want to move up, you'll need to hold parties. <laughs> Do you set a time daily to book appointments that will lead to the parties? If you don't start there, then adjust that into your system. And right now I'm going to challenge you today to schedule the next three booking time slots. Put them in your calendar. When is the next three times that you are going to book and treat it like an appointment that you don't miss? And the last thing I just want to say about that is say no. For the love of God, say no. <laughs> and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, you guys. I feel like so many times we don't get to where we want to go because we're saying yes to too many things. We just said no we, because saying yes in one area is taking away from in another area, right? And it's really important to notice that. So, so how are we going to implement that clarity? Well, I have a series of questions I'm going to ask you right now, and you can either answer them as I go through this, or you can write them down and save them for a time that you can really process it um, or, you know, use it with team members and that type of thing. But this is a sheet that I got from Kevin Keppel. He, I went to him for some coaching and he talked about a what, a what and why sheet to gain clarity. So what do you want and why do you want it? And this will really help you with the clarity piece. So if you could wave a realistic magic wand, where would you like your business to be in the next six months to a year? I'm going to say it again. If you could wave a realistic magic wand, where would you like your business to be in the next six months to a year? Now, if you had it in just that way that you'd like to have it, what would that do for you? If you had it in just that way, what would it do for you? The next question is, what would be the best part about it? Why? All right, so hopefully that uh, opened up some things, but the questions keep coming. <laughs> so now the next question, what do you think could be slowing you down, standing in the way, or stopping you from having your goals that you listed in number two? What could be slowing you down, standing in the way, or stopping you from having those goals happen?
And the sixth question is, what else do you think could be slowing you down, standing in the way, or stopping you? And if you're doing this on your own, you can keep going with that question until you stop having things <laughs> that are slowing you down, standing in the way, or stopping you. You might want to come back to that one later if you're working on it, but what impact do you think these challenges are having on your business? And then what impact, did I say that already? What, what impact are these challenges having in other areas of your life? And how long have these challenges been going on? And that question with how long have these challenges been going have been going on? I know for me, that's when it brought a little tear to my eye because it's amazing how long you can hold on to stuff and not realize that you're not changing it. So the next question is, what's the worst part about these challenges? And why is that the worst part? Okay, here's the exciting part. If you could turn all of these challenges around and flow freely toward your goals, what would that do for you? If you could turn all of these challenges around and flow freely toward your goals, what would that do for you? What would be the best part about that? The next question is why? And if you want to put it in the chat, I'd love to know what you found valuable about going through those questions. I know for me, even reading them, I started thinking of some new stuff. <laughs> like, oh, we should really uh, go through this again. You know, about every three months, we probably should go through it again. So, um, so to get clear and move forward, you guys, is deciding who you want to show up as. Have good energy around it and find the necessity of why. Through our what and the why, you should have gained 
clarity. So you can also use this with team members as well to help them. And I think, you know, when we get together again at some point or we're at seminar, you know, you'll be at the goal you decided you decided on today because you're clear, you brought the energy, you raised necessity, you implemented systems to make it work to hit those goals. And you'll be sitting there with that joy of personal fulfillment. And then you can share it with others. And that's the beauty of it is then you can share it with so many others. You'll be a better person because you slowed down to figure out the system that needs to be in place. And then you simply executed the plan. So I hope that helped you guys today. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions um, that you have for me. Yes, let's open that up. And if you all, I'm going to look in the chat real quick and make sure no one put anything in there. Yes, if you all have questions. Um, oh, someone's putting in, some in there now. Oh, Cheryl said, thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> she also said, we're a make away women. We sure are, friend. Yeah. So sometimes we have little hiccups in the road. We just go, go around them. So, oh my gosh, I loved all of that, Lachelle. I'm going to do that. When you were kind of going through that, I'm like, oh, I thought instantly people came to my mind that I feel need this and need to go through it. Does anybody have anything they need to say to Cheryl or have Lachelle or have questions or I always want to, oh, it does really make you think. Yeah. Yes. I'm in the chat. And, I, and it's so funny because I did this at our fall advance at vaccine and, you know, normally I do a training, you know, people stay on class and it was like, it was almost like it knocked the wind out of them. Like, it was like, oh my gosh, this was so deep. And like, you have to really reach inside. But then afterwards it was like, yeah, some things came out like that were really important. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, and I think you give power to it if you ignore it and you don't embrace it. When you take it on, you're like, okay, I recognize this. Okay, this is really it. I thought it was something else. It makes you figure things out. And then you take your power back when you have that. And, and not just in business, but in life in general. So it's so powerful. Thank you so much, my friend. And thank you for being a woman of your word and all the craziness. We all know how, you know, we have little hiccups and emergencies and all that. And I just... I appreciate your heart, your soul. I love every little inch of you. And thank you, friend, for doing this for so many people because I will get the recording out in the next 24 hours. It's usually out there on YouTube. So if you just go Jennifer Enlow on YouTube, it'll be on there. Um, so if you have team members or unit members or other groups, Facebook pages, whatever you're part of, again, this is for anybody and everybody. Share it with anyone. So thank you all so much for being on here today and making this such a successful event. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes. Everybody have an amazing, amazing Thursday. Thank you. Bye ladies.